Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus, 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 cactus. I playing games. Cactus, 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus, 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 this cocksucker. Cactus, 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 cactus. You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus, 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 cactus. Be a fuck job to edit. Cactus, 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 cactus. At twelve o'clock midnight, fuck you. It's in your butt, then. It's in your butt. It's up your butt. Hey everyone. It's the RBCP Snowplow Thing Show Afternoon Edition. It's the psycho music. You know what that means. I need to read some... Before I do anything, I need to read tweets by Michelle. Because she's been really active. (laughs) And the Yin knew exactly what I was doing when I started this music. But yeah, Michelle's freaking out about me. And... Candle cooing cunts. And dumb fuck prank psycho fags. Twitter.com slash M1CHILLE. Please do not harass her. Apparently, somebody's bothering her, and I think she blames everything on me. Okay, let me skip these first few. Anyway, okay, here. I did not create a Twitter profile to solve mysteries, crimes, or tweet for dumb fuck prank psycho fag Brad Carter or his fucking fans. Wait, let me go more in order. Let me start at the bottom. Okay, did I piss off the prank call idiot dude? If so, what is one of his psycho idiots going to do now? Are be are proud to be that? Yuck, fuck off. F off, I mean. You guys can be in the L.A. news here for your punk fags, pranks, and riots. Go for it. Brad Carter, ugly Christian, fat, blonde hoe. Uh, Are going to tweet at me or punish me? Fuck off. Nice blue-eyed psycho blonde guy, you fucking candle cooing sicko white cunts. Yuck. If you want to read all of these, there's too many. I can't do all this. Oh, she goes on about New Mexico a lot, I think, because I have a New Mexico phone number for PLA. Uh, says, to dumb fuck retard, your stupid cunts should get off Twitter, not me, you vile dumb fuck childish criminal for Brad Carter in Oregon and New Mexico. So I don't know what happened to her. If anyone's bothering her, please stop. Just just subscribe to her Twitter and enjoy the craziness, though, because it's crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, um, what's the date? Uh, April 7th, 2014. Go look at her tweets, and all day she's just freaking out about something related to us, or me, or Oregon, or New Mexico. Something about Santa Barbara and Venice Beach. Anyway, this show is sponsored by Dust Buns. Wait, no. No. Fuck you, Dust Buns. No, it's not sponsored by you. Uh, Slender Man Tits. This show is sponsored by Slender Man Tits. Slash Uncle Grandpapa. Slash my favoriteest person ever to play Grand Theft Auto V with. The few times that that happens lately because I'm stuck on the Dunce server and it won't let me out. And anyway, yeah. Um, so I, I didn't come on to do pranks or anything else really today. I, I have like a really special treat for everyone. Uh, every, you you are all going to love this because it's really amazing. You're just not going to believe this, but um, there is this uh, wireless carrier in Canada. It's called Public Mobile, Public Mobile. Excuse me, my American accent. And um, I called into it the other day. Don't ask why. It's you know crazy story. One thing led to another, and I called into Public Mobile, Mobile, and. Um, Welcome like, to Public Mobile. To continue in English, this first. press 1. Pour continuer en français, if you're currently a Public Mobile customer, press 1. If not, press 2. For payments or questions about your account or wallet, press 1. To activate a Public Mobile phone, press 2. For technical help, press 3. If you're thinking, let's get you to the first available person from Public Mobile. We may record this call to help improve our service. Okay, that that's that's 
you know, me getting into the menu system and being put on hold. So here's where the really amazing part comes in, and this is going to last for five minutes. I'm not going to do anything for five minutes. We're going to listen to this, and you're going to be amazed by the amazingness that is their hold music. So I'm going to play that now. Five minutes. Here it goes. Prepare to be amazed with Public Mobile's hold music. Have you ever been asked to wait for a person on the phone? We've been there too, and we don't want you to feel alone. Your call is very important to us, your patronage we appreciate. So we wrote this little song for you To listen to while you wait It's just a little song If you want to, you can sing along Here we go Everybody sing. Oh. Well, that wasn't so bad. Hmm. I guess we'll just, um... Ah, heck. Let's sing it again. With everybody. Public Mobile. You know, as one of Canada's fastest growing companies, we get billions of phone calls a second. That's right, billions. But rest assured that someone will be along to help you as soon as possible. In the meantime, here are some interesting facts about squirrels that you may not have known. There are 300 varieties of squirrel around the world. In North America, there are roughly 10. 
A typical squirrel enjoys an average of 16 acorns per week, or 832 acorns a year. That's a lot of nuts. Baby squirrels are referred to as kittens. The homes that squirrels build in treetops are called drays, and sometimes consist of two rooms and a nursery. According to statistics, most squirrels are killed by traffic. was not aware of that yeah that song was sponsored by um uncle grandpapa thanks uncle grandpapa for for that music but yeah better than cisco's default hold music that's um public mobile in canada if anyone's in canada and you don't have public mobile service then you should switch because just because of that song that song should make you switch it's the most amazing song i've ever heard for whole music, that is. I think uh, public mobile, I'm, I'm just guessing. I have no idea, really. But I'm guessing it's like a boost type thing. Like a just a cheap prepaid service of some sort. If you're listening on um, Mixler, you should know that I do not look at the Mixler chat room at all. If you're saying anything in Mixler, I'm not seeing it. You need to come to prankcallnation.com slash chat. And that's where the chat room is. Or on IRC, if you know how to work the IRCs. Yeah, prank call nation slash chat. Now, I'm not doing YouTube video today, just because I was lazy and I didn't feel like it. But um, I never read those chats either. It's always best to just go to prankcallnation.com slash chat. Katie Cat, I'm glad you like this loop. I'm getting sick of it. I liked it when I first made it, but holy crap. I need to make new loops. So that's all the show I had really planned. I mean, it's that's it. It's over. I'd like to thank Uncle Grandpapa for sponsoring this show. And I will see you later this week. Maybe if I do another show. Uh, somebody asked earlier if I sent out Patreon packages. I just posted on the Phone Losers Facebook today that I sent about 40 over the past couple days. I sent like 20 on Monday and I sent about 20 of them today. I have like maybe 10 left to send. Some of them I have to wait though because I ran out of CDs and everyone wants CDs, of course. CDs are amazing. But yeah, yeah, you should, if, you, if you're if you a Patreon person, $5 or more, then you will be receiving something in the mail very soon. Including, but not limited to, uh, tickets that will will get you into heaven, guaranteed. So that's exciting. Uh, I I was I could have done a uh, a weekend show this weekend, but I didn't. I just did a bunch of nothing this weekend. But uh, what I was most busiest with this weekend was uh, packaging up Yelp. I mean, not Yelp. Uh, packaging up Patreon stuff. And that's why. That's probably why I didn't do a show. Is because of Patreon. So I just want to let everyone know that Patreon is having the exact opposite intended effect of me doing more shows. So, haha, ha, you suckers that donated. If you'd like to see me do more shows, I would suggest not donating to patreon.com slash phone losers. If you are already donating, I would suggest, uh, you know, stop, stop that. And that way you'll get more shows. Someone checked into a hotel, but um, their name is Mickey Man. Does that sound like a real name? Kind of sounds like it could be fake. Yeah, screw that. I'm not going to call Mickey Man. Maybe I'll call Mickey Man. Hold on. Let's call Mickey Man. Thank you for calling the Doubletree by Hilton. Dow is on the line. I'll transfer you now. Guest services is Jules. How may I assist you? Hello. Could I be connected to a guest's room? Yes. His name's Mickey... Another room number? Oh, no. I don't know that. His last name's Man, though. Like M-A-N-N. 
was Mike. Yeah. Or Bill. Oh, there's two I different men. Mm-hmm. Probably Mike. I mean, he goes by Did Mickey. Did he just check in today? Yeah, yeah, he should have just got there today. Okay, uh, is, I'll turn to you over to Mike. Like, on his account there, is there a cell number for him? Um, I have one, but I don't think I'm supposed to give it out. Oh, no, I'm calling <laughs> from the corporate office with Doubletree. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do have a cell phone number. Oh, okay, what's that? It's 71 Okay, great. Yeah, and if I could be connected, okay. that'd be great. All right, I'll transfer over. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Details, including <laughs> catering. The hotel guest you are trying <sighs> to reach is not available right now. If you'd like to leave a message, please record it after the tone. To transfer to the operator, enter zero now. Oh, that's a hard choice. Mickey, you motherfucker. Thank you. Your message has been sent. To tra- I'll transfer you now. <laughs> garden terrace room is a perfectly delightful uh, setting. I want to turn the hold on song into a loop for background. Background loop. Yes, sir. This is Bill. Tell me I assist you. Oh, hi. Could I try Mickey's room again? I mean, Mike. Mike Man's room again? Yeah, I can turn to over there. Okay, okay. thanks. Mm-hmm. The hotel guest you are trying to reach is not available. Ugh. That's too bad. Uh, if only I had another number to reach Mickey at. But I guess I don't. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. This is Mike. Hey, Mike. This is Kevin from the Doubletree Hotel. Yes, sir. And um, Have you actually brought your stuff into your room, in, into your room yet? Yeah, I, you've, you've called me twice on the other line, but I'm in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, we accidentally booked your room twice, so there's going to be some other people up there soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. Like, we've already keyed their card. And, uh, they're... Oh, so they're going to be walk- they're gonna be walking in here? Yes, yes. I was glad you were in there, because so you can tell them to, to not to come in and everything, because they might have taken your stuff or something otherwise. All right, so what do you want me to do? Um, that's a two-bed, be- two right? Is it just you? No, it's a king size. Oh, okay, that's not going to work then. I guess, yeah, I guess maybe, like, if you're not willing to change right, your room. I just, I just bolted the door shut. No, I'm not going to a two-bedroom. Okay. Or a two-bed. I, I need a king size. I'm six one. Okay, because we don't have any of those left, and we're going to have to move you to a different room. Cause the, the guy, Are you serious? Yeah, the guy coming up, he's with the with his family and stuff, and he's kind of a celebrity. Is this some kind of joke? No, no, sir. My name's Kevin. I'm calling from the front desk here at Doubletree. Okay, so the celebrity is coming up with a family, and he wants to get into a king size bed. Yeah, yeah. So you're, de- I mean, you're gonna have to unbolt the the lock because we're gonna have to move you to a different room. You're you're absolutely serious. Yes, yes, sir. A family, a family is going to take my room that I reserve. Right, correct. And you're going to move me to what kind of a room? Uh, it's going to have double beds. But you can push them together. Like, it's okay to do that. We don't have a problem with that. No, seriously, you, you understand it sounds like a joke. Oh, no, I'm not joking, sir. He's okay, not, is, I, I, re- I reserved a king-size room. Is he, he not? checked me into a king-size room, and I just took a crap in the toilet. Oh, you don't need to be and vulgar with me. you're telling me that... What? Look, it's it's carrot top that's coming up, and what he wants, he gets. Like, carrot top does not fuck around, Mike. Hello. Hello, Mike. I I. Uh, <laughs> that was just kind of abrupt. He he disappeared. Hi, this is Mike. At the tone, leave your name and message, and I'll get right back to you. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording... Ah, never mind. I'm not going to leave a message. That motherfucker. Oh, well. I tried. Should I do his room again? No, because then I have to go through that lady. I could tell her I'm a hacker, though. I'm a hacker, and I just hacked that information from you. I don't even know if he heard the part about Carrot Top. He, he, he seemed to hang up right around the, the poop part. But yeah, we have Mike's Twitter. And uh, if we're lucky, there will be a hilarious tweet before the show is over in one hour. 
So woo! I don't know. Let's call the front desk just one time, really quick. Guest services, Joel. How may I assist you? Oh, is this the person that transferred me to Mike Man? Yes. Oh, okay, great. Sorry. No, he answered. I, I called his cell phone that you gave me. But I'm not really with the corporate office. I'm just some jerk. I was just harassing him. Has he come back down yet? Because I told him he had to leave. No, he hasn't come back down. Oh, when he does, just like, just laugh in his face. Just like, point directly at him and go, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I feel bad now. No, th- don't worry about it. I didn't tell him that. So you don't, you don't, you're not going to get in trouble. <laughs> but he thinks, he thinks Carrot Top is on his way up to steal his room from him. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> So, um, all right, then. Hey, can well, I call? If comes down, I'll go along with it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to go along with it? I'm just kidding. No, no, that. you should. You should. You really should. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay. Yeah. Play along. It's it's like a candid camera joke. Okay. <laughs> and, um, can I call you back in an hour and we can just laugh about the whole thing? And you can tell me, <laughs> you can tell me what he said. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. I, I hope he doesn't get violent. I hope he doesn't like hop over the counter and start pounding you. He didn't. He didn't seem like he would. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. All right, Have fun. Mm, you too. Wow, she's amazing. <laughs> uh, I need to write that down. <laughs> so, if anyone needs to stay in a hotel, I would suggest DoubleTree because. Doubletree has really awesome front desk employees that just think it's hilarious when you trick them and then prank their guests. <sighs> Snow Crash says I should get her number. Yep, I'll do that next. But when I call back in an hour, um, I'm writing myself a note to call back. No, nothing, no tweets by Mike yet. Um, let's see what else is checked in on Twitter. Uh, here's someone that just checked in at Focus Bar and Yoga, which sounds hilarious. Like if she's in the middle of trying to do yoga. Oh, it's some kind of a gym. They have bikes and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I can interrupt her, her yoga in. Focus Bar and Yoga, this is Sarah. How can I help you? Hi, can I talk to a customer that's in there right now? Her name's Christine. Uh, Christine? Yep, yep, I think she just arrived there. Christine B. Um, who's calling, please? Uh, My name is Kevin. Kevin? Yep. Hold on one second. Okay. Hello? Hi. Hi, who's this? My name's Kevin. Who are you looking for? Christine? Yeah, I'm Christine, but I don't know who Kevin is. Oh, well, do you work there, or are you uh, like a No, customer? I don't work here. Oh, okay, great. Oh, I, I thought they gave me the Christine that works there. No, I'm calling from the corporate office. Uh, is there a Christine that works here? All right, no, can you hold no, on one second? No, I'll give you back to the people that work no, here. No, no, I was calling for you, Christine B. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. Um, who are you? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> My name's Kevin. I'm calling from the corporate office with the Focus Bar. Oh, okay. And um, we've had some serious complaints about your odor. About my what? Your odor. That's like, so weird. You smell really bad. Do you think you could start showering before you come in? Like, oh my god, really? I don't know what... Who is this? I'm Kevin from the corporate office. They're saying that you keep passing gas while doing yoga? I don't even go to yoga classes, so I don't know what this is about. No, I'm saying you're at the yoga place, though. At the yoga yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks. You do the bikes and stuff. <laughs> All right. I got a little confused there because she just sort of picked up. I thought I was still talking to an employee. I'm going to be so disappointed if, if Mickey doesn't complain or something. I want to call his room, but I don't know. Let me try his cell one more time. And I was right. Mickey is a fake name. Nobody's named Mickey. Except for that Hello? guy that died. Oh, hi, Mike. I'm calling from the yeah. D- Doubletree corporate office. 
I, I understand you've <laughs> been uh, kind of being an asshole to our employees. Dude, seriously, who is this? I'm from the corporate office with Doubletree. Uh, and... It's got to be somebody who saw my check-in either on Twitter or on Yelp. Oh, it's don't be stupid. With me. No, like, um, is, is this right? How if I saw your check-in, how would I have your cell number? Because because I am call I'm calling from the DoubleTree corporate office and it's in the computer. Damn, who the hell is it? You didn't go down to the front desk, did you? Hello. Who the hell has an Arkansas. Yeah. Who's Ar- got an Arkansas prefix on their phone? That's not a prefix. It's an area code, dummy. So you didn't go down to the front desk, then? You didn't go down to the. Fr- <laughs> did you go down to the front desk Seriously, or not? Who is it? Did you go down to the front desk? No, I was taking a crap. <laughs> um, I was really counting on you going down to the front desk and yelling at the front desk girl. Seriously, who's that? All right, well, I got to go now. I'll call Damn, you back come soon. On, who is this? I'll call you back soon. <laughs> no, seriously, who is it? Can you tell me about the consistency of your poop? <laughs> you know what fucked your plan up? What's I up? said I was taking a crap. And then you said, don't be vulgar. And then you said, Carrot Top gets whatever the fuck you want. So, oh, that, that was the that, thing that, that ruined that it all? That the whole thing. Oh, man. Said, who's, no, seriously, who is this? I'll try and do better next time. It's somebody who has my cell phone number, which is bizarre. Yeah, who would have that? But, I mean, how would I possibly get well, that? Hello? Oh, that's weird. Well, I guess I can't call front desk girl back, so it's just not meant to be, me and her. Well, I'm glad I'm not going to get her in trouble for the cell phone thing, at least. Like, he's not even going down there, so I'm happy about that. (laughs) She was too nice for me to get her in trouble. How weird, here's another yoga check-in. Maybe that's just the kind of thing that happens this time of day. People go to yoga and they go to hardware stores. Okay, never mind. Hey, I'll just, I'll call this number. Um, he took a screenshot of this guy that checked in to Carnival. And he doesn't know if he is currently on the Carnival cruise. Or if it's something that's upcoming. Carnival Cruise departing from Miami. I don't know where it's where it's from. Where it's going to, I mean. But I can do this. I can call this and I don't know. What do I say about Carnival Cruises? I know they had that problem recently with their their poop cruise where all their toilets broke or something. They had, they had all the all of the guests pooping in bags all over the ship. Seriously, that's what they were doing. Pooping in bags. Aww. The number you have reached. Three, zero, five. It's a bad number, hey? Oh, well. Thanks anyway, hey? That would have been hilarious. That would have been a really good one. That's the thing that should be next. I, I should put this in, in my notes. I'm going to do this right now. Notes. Carnival Cruises. We're going to get numbers for Carnival Cruise customers someday soon. Thanks to Hay. Cactus wants me to tell them they will be assigned bedmates based on their weights to keep the cruise from tipping over. I'll do that. So I'm only going to be doing like maybe another half hour of show. I need to take a quick break. So I'm going to play music for a minute. Maybe just one song. I will be right back. You're listening to to the Prank Call Nation Network Machine. Hello. Hello. At prankcallnation.com. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I have customers of a uh, certain haircut place. We were talking about it in chat earlier today. Peanut butter and old ladies' hairs and stuff. And 
I don't know. I decided to get some, some, uh, you know, haircut business people customers. So what can I say to haircut business people customers? I was kind of holding off on these because a couple of these people were still in the store. Such as this lady. She's got to be gone by now, though. I should give her a call. Uncle Grandpapa wants me to say I left left a bunch of meth residue on their head. Hello. No one is available to Or I winked in their hair. Please leave a message. All right. She's not around. Nunu says I should say I accidentally cut off almost all their hair and then glued it back on again. Hello? Hi, I'm calling for Griffin Hainus. You have the wrong number. Well, did he? Did one of you do a check-in today with a fake name? Oh, it was not with Griffin Haynes? Yes. Oh, okay, so you're just being a smartass because I mispronounced it? Uh, goodbye. Well, no, I'm calling from the corporate office with... <laughs> Damn it. I fucked that up. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. You motherfucker. Nobody hangs up on me. I guess you don't get your free coupon now, then. So, enjoy not having that. That'll teach them. Cole wants me to tell them that the stylist dropped gum in their hair. Oh, come, not gum. Sorry. Hello, John? Hello? Is this John? Yeah. Hey, it's Roy from the corporate office with... Yes. Where, where you had your hair cut today? Yes, sir. And um, it looks like there was a problem with Catherine. That's who you got your car- hair cut by, right? Uh, I'm not sure who cut my hair, but it was a good experience. Oh, it was? Because um, did you check your hair yet, maybe with a mirror? Yeah. Because she, she was like laughing with the other coworkers after you left, and we checked the security cameras. And she dropped gum in your hair. Who is this? There's a bunch of gum in your hair. Um, is there any way you could check that real quick just so we can confirm? I'm not sure who this is, so... I'm Roy from Bye. the corporate office. I already told you that. Yeah, there's nothing in my hair, so... Well, did you check? No, I'm... Goodbye. You're not even checking? You don't care about the gum in your hair? I hope he really does have gum in his hair. A lice outbreak. That's a great idea, Mr. Clay. A lice outbreak. It's Michael. Hey, Michael. This is uh, Roy from the corporate office. Uh, do you had your haircut there today? Yes, sir, Roy. And um, did you have any problems while you were in there? I didn't. Why? Like, um, you had your hair cut by Catherine, right? I don't remember who it was. It was uh, she had short. Dark hair with glasses. Yeah, that's Catherine. Um, she accidentally <laughs> cut off a bunch of your hair. Uh, she accidentally cut off like a, way too much hair in the back, and then uh-huh. glued it. I haven't looked at it. Oh, you haven't checked with a mirror? No, I have not. Oh boy. Um, is there any way you could check that real quick? Because she she accidentally cut off way too much hair in the back, and then she glued it back on without you noticing. Really? Yeah, because we checked the security cameras, and apparently she was telling the other employees about it after you left, and they were laughing and stuff. You're kidding me. Oh, no. No, definitely not. I wouldn't kid about this. Uh, Well, I'm in my car right now. Can, can you feel back there and see if you feel like glue or extra hair? Uh, I mean, I would assume she used your hair, but, you know, she did get it off the floor, so it could be someone else's hair, too. I, I mean, it feels short back there, but I can't see it. Huh. Uh, I mean, I'll have to go somewhere and actually look in a mirror. Maybe if you um, put both of your visors down, put them by the side windows, and open up the mirrors, and then kind of get in the middle of the car and look sideways. I do this all the time when I'm driving. It's safe. 
Oh, it's safe? Yeah. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> well, if you, maybe if you could pull over, because, I mean, it's... I think we're going to have to let her go because of what she did. Really? Yeah. Okay, I have no idea. I, uh... Uh... I really can't pull over right now, but, uh... I can do it in a little bit and call you back. Okay, that'd be good. Yeah, she. Okay, and she, your name, sir? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm from the corporate office. Okay. And she, she dropped gum in your hair too, and I, that's what started this whole thing. Like that, that kind of threw her off, and she's trying to cut the gum out, but then she cut off too much. And then really? She glued it back on. Okay. Well, um. Let me get somewhere where I can look at this, and I will call you back, Roy. Okay, great. Yeah, and then, you know, maybe we can, I'll, I can walk you through on how to get the gum out and the glue. Okay. And the extra hair. Okay. Probably use peanut butter. Yeah, you, I think that's what uh, my mother used to use when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Okay, well. I, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to your call back, and I'm very sorry about your experience. Oh, okay, no problem at all, Roy. Have a good day. Thank you. You, you as well. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye. I don't know what else to do after that. Okay, I'm going to put a note that I should call him back <laughs> later about the gum slash hair slash glue. I guess. Okay, so there's just one. One left. Uh, she didn't answer before, though, so I don't think she's going to answer. You know that guy's just, like, feeling his head a whole bunch. Like, the whole drive home. Hello. No one is... Oh, well. I'll try them later. So anyone that sent me numbers, I promise to get to them on the next show. Um, I'm just... Like, I don't know. I don't know where they are. It's too much effort to go around looking. I'm sorry. Hey, I hear Laugh Track Matt has a new t-shirt store that somebody set up for him. So I just posted a link to it in the chat room. It's laughtrackmatt.spreadshirt.com. Uh, I, he sent me like a bunch of cactus pictures a while back, and I scanned them all in and turned them into t-shirts and made a store for Matt, and all the money goes to Matt. And I am definitely going to be buying the Clank, the Clank t-shirt. That's my favorite. Shut up, dust buns. You're not even sponsoring the show. Uncle Grandpapa ordered me to post a Laugh Track Matt's link on the show, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, there's a listener named Nicole. She's the one that convinced me to uh, tell people that they pooped in the urinals at gyms. Nicole from Canada. And she sent me some timestamps for the angry prank call victim talking clock. If anyone remembers that stupid old idea of mine, I really want to make a talking clock on the interwebs. Should be really easy to make, I'm sure. But um, I want it to announce the time in angry prank call victim voices. Like, uh, you know, when it's midnight, it can be like grouchy old man saying, 12 o'clock in the fucking midnight! Fuck you! Um, the only hard part about the whole project is getting um, the audio clips. So if anyone wants to send audio clips or timestamps of audio clips, like where I could go get them myself, uh, Nicole sent me a couple of them, and that's, that's motivated me to start start a note page where I'm going to um, you know start putting this all together so thanks to her so time time stamps or sound clips of people screaming the time like people saying oh my god did you know it's 321 in the morning because they're getting you know phone calls late at night and we're gonna make a hilarious clock and someday it will be located at phonelosers.org slash clock and you can help make it happen if you want to so Send me timestamps or sound clips of people angrily stating the time. It's the best idea ever. It's the best idea I've ever had in my entire life. 
I know uh, Carlito, he has a shitload of them from, from the UK, his UK wake-up calls. People yelling about it being six in the morning. Teehee. Oh, here we go. Donna Williamson, she just checked in at the Son Sonoma County Sheriff's Office. Let's give them a call. This is going to be the best one ever. I'm going to tell the sheriff that she has a gun. This is going to be so funny. Oh, well, they're not answering. Maybe next time. Uh, what else is on here? There's a Costco. There's a coffee bean. No Starbucks today. Afternoon is not a good Starbucks time, apparently. Dust Buns wants to know what song this loop is from. Uh, it is... Uh... <laughs> Uh, what's their name? The band is called I Fight Dragons. This is Carolyn. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave me a message... I Fight Dragons, and I really don't remember the song. The play button is obscuring the song title. Uh, it's called With You by I Fight Dragons. Here, I will cue that song up, and on the next break we take, which will be in maybe five or ten minutes, which may or may not be the end of the show. I'll just play it on the end of the show. With you, I fight dragons. That's what this dumb loop is that I play all the time. I remember the first time I made this loop, it had a mistake on it and it sounded really shitty. But now it's perfect. Holy shit, here's another yoga check-in. That's weird. Afternoons are apparently yoga time. Yoga time and glory hole time. Holy shit. The number you dialed is not in service. Whoa. That was an angry message. The number you dialed is not in service. Hello. Hi, Stacy. Uh, no, he's not here right now. Oh, okay. Well, I'm calling from. He was in here earlier. Oh, okay. I can. And... I'll text him and tell him that you called. Okay. Does he have another phone number? Maybe I could just call him on that number. Um. Okay. I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, 501-2. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just give him a call on there then. Alrighty. Alrighty. I hope none of the listeners uh, wrote down the number or anything. Because, you know, we don't want uh, that. okay. Because they might call him first and warn him that I'm about to prank call him. And that'll be bad. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I thanks. I won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> she thought that was hilarious. Now she's going to warn him. Oh, oh, it's doing the thing. He he's on the phone with someone. I may have ruined it. Your call has been forwarded oh. to an automated that's it. It's over. She's she's warned him now. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five zero. Here's one that would be amazing to call. She just checked in at a healing hands therapeutic massage. Um, I would love to interrupt someone's massage, but uh, let me check just to be sure. Her name is Silver Starchild, which. I'm going to guess that is uh, not a real name. Maybe they call her that. Maybe I should just try it anyway. No tweets from Mickey Man yet. I know he's going to just... Uh, <laughs> it's it's going to drive him crazy all day. He's going to wonder who called him. Dust Buns is asking me to end the show. 
Okay, I wasn't going to. I was going to go for another hour, but since you asked nicely, I think maybe I'll go ahead and end the show now. Yeah, I really don't have a whole lot else to do. I just got those few numbers and Yelp's being kind of slow right now, and I have shit to do anyway at my job. Muck up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe we're just going to end this now. Since Dust Puns wants me to, you know, of course. So yeah, I think it's a good time to end the show and play the song that Dust Buns wants to hear. I fight dragons with you. Uh, everyone keeps asking me about the phone mob, and uh, I think that's because Patreon says a phone mob is required right now. Let me look at the the things on Patreon. Because there's a small problem with that. Yeah, yeah, we're up to 600 a month. Phone mob or radio station. And uh, 500 a month was the poster thing. But the problem is that even though people have pledged this much, like right now it's up to 625, which is amazing, but uh, even though people pledge, they don't necessarily pay at the end of the month. And at the end of the month, I think I was up to like 560 or something, but I only got $414. So technically, we're only up to the vinyl stickers. And I have fulfilled my obligations on those. I, I should go by what I'm given instead of what people are pledging and not sending in. Damn you people. But yeah, 414 bucks, that's pretty amazing. That's that's enough to make me do more stuff. And we're still working on the video thing. If anyone wants to send in video footage, you have, I think, two days. I think the, um, the cutoff date was the 10th, is what I originally said. So send video if you can do that within the next day or two. And yeah, hopefully I will have the video finished up by this coming weekend and we can finally post it and release the song. Uh, Cactus is asking, video what? It's the, the song. I would play the song right now that Bone Cage made for us. It's a freaking song. I will play it after I play Dust Bun's song. Uh, but yeah, it's a song. It's about telephones. It's a retro song. And uh, we're filming a video for it. If you look at the latest video on Phone Losers YouTube, you'll see some of the footage that was sent in already. So yeah, that's it. Bye, everyone. I wish I could do another hour, but Dust Buns insists. So uh, this is the end of the show. Here is I Fight Dragons. <laughs>